Good morning everybody. I hope you all are fine. Today I'm back with another interesting chapter of science that is the second chapter nutrition in animals. We'll start with different ways of taking food. Now you all know that different organisms have different ways of taking the food. Like the bees, they suck nectar from the flower. The python swallow the organism whichever it is eating. Infants feed on the mother's milk. Kingfisher eat fish. All right. So you see that they all have got different ways of eating food or you can say that ingestions are of different type now what is ingestion ingestion means simply putting the food in your mouth now before we start with ingestion we'll come to nutrition basically this chapter is about nutrition and I taught you in first chapter what is nutrition and I hope you remember it. Now, nutrition in organisms, it includes, there are five steps in the process of nutrition. The first one is ingestion. The second step is digestion. The third step is absorption. The fourth step is assimilation. And the fifth one is ejection. Okay. And we will go through this one by one. The first one I already told you is ingestion. Which simply means that putting the food in your mouth. In means inside. And ejection means you are putting it inside your mouth. So ingestion means putting the food in your mouth. Okay. The second procedure is digestion. Now, what is digestion? Digestion you have already studied in class 5th that it is the breakdown of complex substances of food into simpler substances. Okay? Very simple. See, I'll explain you. Actually, what happens? The components of the food that is whatever components we are eating whenever we eat a food it has got different components in it isn't it you have studied about components like fats proteins minerals vitamins so these components are very very large molecules okay these are very very large molecules now what happens in the process of digestion these large molecules are broken down into very simple substances okay they are broken down into simple substances or you can say smaller molecules and along with that what happens it also provides a lot of energy clear it provides a lot of energy so you can see that what happens in digestion is the larger molecules of the food that we eat, they all are in a complex condition. So these larger molecules are broken down into small molecules along with it, it provides energy also. So simply this is the procedure of digestion, okay? The breakdown of complex substances, the complex substances are broken down into simple substances now we come to the human digestive system the human digestive system okay now you all have studied about the human digestive system now the human digestive system what happens is you have got different organs okay or you can see that you have got the buccal cavity. The first one is the buccal cavity. Then you have the esophagus. O is silent. Esophagus. Esophagus or the food pipe. Then the next one is the stomach. Then you have got the small intestine 
and you have got the large intestine then you have the rectum and anus so chiefly there are these six organs and these six parts together forms the elementary canal okay it is called as the elementary canal or the digestive tract so which are the parts which are found in the elementary canal it is the buccal cavity the esophagus or the food pipe the stomach then the small intestine the large intestine the rectum and the anus okay now here you must have seen a new term that is the buccal cavity now what is the difference between buccal cavity and mouth mouth is the opening where you put the food okay but when the food moves inside the mouth that portion is called as the buccal cavity so the buccal cavity includes your teeth the tongue and the salivary glands so did you understand the difference between buccal cavity and mouth mouth is simply the opening and the buccal cavity is the part where you put your food and you chew it okay so that is the buccal cavity now what happens here in the buccal cavity okay the food that we eat so whatever the uh, food which contains carbohydrate okay so that is in the form of starch now in the buccal cavity the starch is broken down into sugar i told you what is digestion digestion means when complex particles are broken down into simple particles so starch is a complex form of carbohydrate and sugar is the simplest form of carbohydrate so in the buccal cavity the starch is broken down into the sugar now in the figure you all must have noticed the salivary glands can you see 1 2 3 three salivary glands so now why these salivary glands are there there is the function of salivary glands salivary glands secrete saliva you all know that there is saliva in your mouth okay so it contains the the salivary glands secrete the saliva okay and what does the saliva do the saliva okay it converts the starch into sugar just now i told you na starch is converted into sugar so who does it it is done by the saliva okay we have a very simple activity to prove this how can you prove you can take boiled rice okay you all know boiled rice boiled rice okay uble uve chawal chawal boiled rice and then in one test tube you have to take boiled rice in the second test tube the b1 what you have done the boiled rice you have chewed it you will put it in your mouth chew it for few seconds say 25 to 30 seconds okay chew it and then you have put it in this test tube then what you have to do you have to put iodine solution in both the test tube what do you have to put iodine solution now you have already studied that what will iodine solution do iodine solution converts the starch if there is starch it will turn into blue black so what is happening here when you put iodine solution in test tube a it will turn blue black but when you put iodine solution in test tube b there is no change can you tell me why the reason is you know i told you that you have chewed the food when you chewed the food the food mixed with your saliva so what happened when the food mixed with your saliva the starch which was present in the food was converted into sugar so now this test tube is not containing starch since the food is chewed boiled rice it is converted into sugar that is why you will see that this test tube there will be no change in the color of the test tube i hope this much is clear to everyone thank you